In an NBC exclusive, a former advisor to President Zelensky of Ukraine has described hearing a 2019 phone call between the president's top aide and Rudy Giuliani. NBC's chief foreign affairs correspondent, Andrea Mitchell, spoke with the former official, and she joins us from Kiev in Ukraine. Andrea, good morning. So tell us what he heard and remind us, put us in context again, why this call is so important. Yeah, it gives you such insight into what Rudy Giuliani was doing here. Uh, this is Igor Novikov. I interviewed him here about how he reacted uh, to sitting in. He was sitting in the chief of staff's office to the president of Ukraine. And this was, of course, a time when he was listening in on a speakerphone to this conversation where, uh, according to uh, all reports and according to what he said, where... Rudy Giuliani was basically pressuring the incoming president of Ukraine to uh, make public statements, to go after Joe Biden, to pressure Joe Biden by releasing uh, information that was false information, false conspiracy theories. Here's how it went down. He wanted two things. He basically, it was all about a smear campaign on then not even a, a candidate Biden, uh, Joe Biden. So uh, basically, first request was uh, multiple investigations. So he wanted Burisma investigated. He wanted uh, the uh, situation with uh, ex-prosecutor General Sh Shokin investigated. And he was especially interested in getting Ukraine to make a public statement and possibly back it up, uh, this crazy allegation that it was Ukraine, not Russia, that meddled in 2016, uh, which is obviously ridiculous, but that's what he wanted. So this, this conversation was July 22nd, 2019. It was three days before that fateful, uh, infamous, if you will, conversation between Zelensky and President Trump, and the conversation that President Trump has described as the perfect conversation, the perfect phone call, of course, that led to the impeachment, uh, the first impeachment of President Trump. Mm. And at the time, what Giuliani was doing here in Ukraine was basically, and then he came to Ukraine, but what he was doing in this call, which was arranged by a U.S. official for President Trump, was to pressure uh, pressure Zelensky to make a publicity campaign to basically smear Joe Biden before Joe Biden had the nomination to try to eliminate him from getting the Democratic nomination. Savannah? And Andrea, what's the fallout from all this in Ukraine? Well, Ukraine, the officials were, were really upset, of course, by all of this. And it really undermined their anti-corruption efforts because it made them appear to be in cahoots with the U.S. It was also shocking to them that someone who they thought was, you know, America's mayor after 9-11 and was the president's lawyer at various times and a close associate of the president of the United States would be asking them to do something. Uh, here's what Novikov said was his reaction. I was shocked. I was scared and I was bewildered because um, I expected that phone call to be just a casual kind of nice to meet you phone call. And we had, at least I tried briefing Andrei Yermak to uh, try and take that angle uh, about Rudy Giuliani's past as mayor of New York and about his, you know, involvement with Ukraine prior to this whole situation and try and distract. By, but also by assessing, you know, the level to, um, you know, to which he influences U.S. policy towards Ukraine. And it's the phone call just made the U-turn as soon as he opened, Met Giuliani opened his mouth. So we've reached out, of course, to Rudy Giuliani's attorney. We haven't heard back yet. Um, there's no question, uh, there's not a question here of whether this was legal or illegal. That's not for us to determine. But the the certainly import is that it was corrupt. It was using his influence with the president of the United States to try to pressure a foreign leader. And that is what was so upsetting about it and has undermined uh, the relations. And, of course, mm -hmm. Secretary Blinken comes here uh, later today for his first meeting. And what they're looking for is a real signal of support against Vladimir Putin and against this kind of pressure. And Andrea, quickly, I can't let you go without asking how this phone call ties into that raid we saw of Giuliani's apartment just last week. Well, we don't know. 
We don't know what the FBI is investigating. We know that they, they are investigating the relationship uh, with Rudy Giuliani and how that led to the Marie Ivanovich, the ambassador here, who was recalled. And as of this day, there is still no U.S. ambassador two years later in Ukraine. They have no representative here of the United States at that high level. And that's something that they are really concerned about. They want to have their president meet with President Biden, uh, certainly before he meets with, with President Putin. Uh, but right now, the expectation is he'll be meeting with Putin in June and uh, at the G20 and certainly at a possible summit. That's upsetting to people here. Andrea, thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.